Zach Sang and the gang. Zach Sang and the gang hanging out right now in the studio. Chris Colfer. Hello, sir. Hello. Dude, congratulations on everything. Thank you, you so much. You have a lot going on. You are a busy, busy dude. <laughs> I, I'm yes, I'm like I'm like Seacrest busy sometimes. You are, how insane is that? You that you've parlayed the show Glee into everything and anything. I mean, that's insane. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure what that means, but thank you. I mean, I mean, you took the one role that you had on Glee, right? And then oh, now um, you, you have a series of books. Uh, yes. You're yeah. a director. I mean, you're doing everything yeah. and anything. Yeah, I, I definitely, um, I, I took that iron and I hit it while it was hot. <laughs> For sure. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. What was like the first, like your original dream? Like what did you really, like when you started getting into this, what was the dream? What well, was the goal? Well, when I was like seven or eight, I just wanted to be a storyteller. And I, I, I don't think I quite understood like, you know, the difference between like acting and screenwriting right. and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and directing and producing and all that. But I just knew that I wanted to be a part of it and I wanted to be a part of all of it. Um, but uh, I, I've always wanted to, to write books ever since I was, I was a little kid. Um, and I've always wanted to, to, to be in TV and movies. So... Um, so I'm doing good so far. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Yeah, to say the least. I mean, okay, so this is the third installment mm-hmm. of your, your series. Yes. Third uh, and final, or are you going to keep going? I think I'm going to keep going. I, I have plans um, to, to do four as of right now, four Land of Stories books. Um, and, uh, but, but we'll see. I, it, it's doing really, really yeah. well, and people are really, really loving it. So, um, it, you know, if, 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 it, if it keeps going, um, and then I, I think I might, might want to do a few more. Would you well, want to ever take them to screen? Um, I, I'm starting to take those meetings now, and I, I, I've had a couple. Wow. Yeah, but that's I, so cool. It's that's just, so yeah, cool. It's very cool. When I when I first started, I I it was the last thing I wanted to do, and I I, I was very outspoken about how I did not want it to be a movie because right. it was a it was a book about storytelling and, and reading, yeah. and and I wanted it to have a full life as a book. And that's awesome, it. right? But but now that I mean now that it's become, I never expected that it would become what it what it's become. So all these little kids come up to me and they're they're asking me when's the movie? When's the movie? Because they want to see mm-hmm. these characters so much. That's awesome. It's really incredible. I mean, three. Uh, this is the third book out right now. Where, where did the idea come from? Like, where was, did the inspiration stem well, from? Well, it came from when I, when I was when I was a kid and uh, like four or five. I, I was obsessed with fairy tales. My mom used to read them to me, and I was just amazed by them. And I, I would I would create little backstories in my head, and I would I would you know daydream about falling into the book and having adventures yeah. with myself with my favorite characters, and and uh, came up with with the, basically what the concept for what the the first book became. And I promised myself then that. One day that I would I would I would write it and uh, thanks to Glee a bunch of opportunities came and um and the rest is history. You are I mean you truly are an incredibly talented dude because oh, thank you. you you do a little bit of everything. I like yeah. you guys. No, <laughs> it's amazing. Like where did this come from? Like what do your parents do? Like I'm interested. Like what what do your parents my, do? My mom worked uh, every position in in, in like a, a medical field. Like like she 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 worked um at, like medical buildings. And, okay. Uh, uh, she 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 worked in, in the OR um of, of a hospital in our in our town and my, my dad um, has a, a, a multiple careers himself I think he's 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 an electrician now um, oh, wow. so you but, got like engineering yeah. in your, in your I family I guess so wow yeah, that's yeah. so cool that yeah. you're like the creative like, yeah, wing of your family <laughs> <creative friend. laughs> I mean they both take full credit and say they got, got bar, everything bar, from bar. both of them but um, right right Wow. I, what was the first thing you ever did? Like, what was the first project? When did you know you wanted to be creative? When did you want to know? When did you know that you wanted to tell stories? Well, I started writing this book when I was seven, or, or the, the first Land Stories book when I was seven, but it was incredibly <laughs> difficult to write a novel when I was seven. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I would imagine. So I told myself I'd wait till I knew more words to write with. <laughs> sure, um, sure. But, um, but no, I, then I, I did like my first community theater production around the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was, I was really bit by like the acting slash um, uh, writing bug at right. a very, very, very young age, thankfully. Yeah. And, and Glee, I mean, incredible I mean you guys really kind of set the course and you in particular kind of set the course for you know that type of television and you yeah. paved the way oh, for just yeah, a I, new generation I don't think I don't think I'm, I'm exaggerating when I say that that we are one of the hardest working casts in television I history. don't doubt it yeah. it, it, it shows it shows every episode it shows yeah and, just, I mean, and our crew I mean that's the production value of that show is is, is unbelievable it's out of control I mean with you doing everything right Writing a novel, <laughs> acting, <laughs> singing, you directing, know, directing movies. <laughs> Do you, is there a, like is there a downside to it all? Um, sleep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> finding Hard. time to sleep. Um, but I, I think I think the the biggest thing that I that I struggle with is is just learning how to turn myself off. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and uh, and knowing that if if I have a month off and I don't do anything, that's okay. That's like, okay. Like I'm I'm allowed to relax. I haven't quite quite learned how to relax it, yet. I like how you said like turn yourself off mm-hmm. because it really is hard. Because mm-hmm. and we I, I deal with the same thing now, right? Everything to like a, a random party that I go to on the Fourth of July where work is not involved at all. You still have to be on. Yeah, you right. know. Well, especially if if you're you know 
known. Like, like yeah. people expect you to, to, to be on. Oh, because yeah. If, yeah. If, if you show like the slightest <laughs> sign of being off, like, you get out. written about. Like, like, why are you being funny? Like, sing, like, sing. Chris, Chris Goldberg's a jerk. No, that was just my resting face. I'm not, I'm not giving him a dirty look. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it, it's challenging. Like, uh, just for instance, I was at Friday at this uh, random just 4th of July party, and I'm there pouring myself a soda, and people are taking pictures. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, 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 yeah. and I'm on the it's radio. Really I am nowhere near Glee or, you know, writing a novel. I'm just some <laughs> dude. Yeah. So it, it's, it gets an, not annoying, yeah, but that's, a, yeah, a little hard. It, it, the thing about that is, is, uh, it, it it's it's gotten really like it's gotten a lot worse in the last few years with, yeah. like with like social media and stuff oh yeah and, like, your twitter how weird yeah. is that like oh yeah waking up hacked. to that crap like oh, that because it's not like my twitter got hacked you know what yeah. i mean where it's like i can fix that i could do some damage control like you yeah. are going through the biggest point in your life right now yeah. and it's like bummer yeah. man who would do that you i know? have no idea but I mean, like why like like if i was someone like that and i hacked my twitter account i would have done something much more cool like, <laughs> like i would have said like like oh you know I don't I don't know like just I don't know who knows but but no I wouldn't have said that I got fired like <laughs> missed the opportunity for greatness. <laughs> Do you think Lee is a show that can last forever? Uh, I I don't well it's ending next season so I don't. I think mean so but, probably not. but I feel like I feel like that genre could yeah. really live on. Oh definitely I yeah. mean I'm sure there will be probably like like a Glee the next generation like yeah like in a yeah few like years. Degrassi yeah probably yeah but I I think the genre I think it's it, it's um. It kind of invented a genre that I think yeah. will be around for a very long time, and that's amazing that you could say that you've been a, you were a part of that. You really did help, yeah. kind of, yeah. not only inspire a generation yeah. of young yeah. adults, but you, that, yeah, that's huge. You never think that's what you're doing at the time, but um, but yeah, I guess, I guess that is what what, what history will show. Have, ha, has there been a moment in your life since then that you know you kind of realized that, like that you really made Im- an impact on uh, people's lives? Yeah, every day? I, I mean, I I would say like um, I mean, I, I usually have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that come out. To, to my book signings and I, I would say maybe a hundred per signing will, will, will tell me like a, a really deep personal story mm-hmm. about how I saved or influenced mm-hmm. their life um, and uh, and that, that hits you and it can be really heavy sometimes yeah. and uh, the, I have gotten oh my god I've gotten so many letters from kids all over the country um, just so just telling me like 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 personal things and and how how you've inspired them and it it, it yeah it's it, it's a lot to, to swallow. Some how do buttons. you how, sorry? How do you how do you deal with that? Like do you like do you have uh, friends at home like back where you're from? Like <laughs> I just sit in the corner in and the I base? rock. Yeah, do you just yeah, like turn do your ears on and bleed off. with like you know, like anger or sadness? Like how do you, like how do you how do you deal with that? I I really I don't know because because I, I, there's really not like a a a, a, t- a guide of, of how to like no one's you know created like a manual yet. Um, but I I, I try not to. I, I try to accept it, but I try yeah. not to like internalize it too much because I, I would never want to um, become big headed, you know, and be like, yes, I'm a saint, you know. <laughs> so I, 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 I try to, yeah, yeah I, 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 you know, I, I listen, but I, but I don't, um, I don't, I don't internalize it too, too much as there, much as I probably should. There must be a side of you though that like when you get those letters and all these people come out, mm-hmm. it kind of validates mm-hmm. the tremendous amount of work mm-hmm. you put into these products because yeah. I feel like that's one thing that I've kind of like forgot about e- even when you listen to songs right or when you read your book I mean there's a part of you in this book yeah. right there's a part of you in that character on Glee oh yeah you, know, you really I mean you invest a lot of yourself oh yeah into yeah. it's very personal oh yeah and in yeah. fact people have always wanted me to do an autobiography and I always tell them I, I have because <laughs> there's yeah. so much of me in, in these books and and in these characters it, it it validates it though. I mean, hard mm-hmm. work, and then just to see, even if it's just one person coming up to you telling you how awesome you are. It, yeah, yeah, it must no, feel great. And, and it's uh, yeah, it. I, I'm very, very spoiled in that way because because a lot of people that that I've talked to have never ever have that experience, and it's it's what I've had from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'm I'm very very blessed and spoiled. Are you a big picture dude? Like, do you sit down and like when you read these books, like you plan for the future, like mm-hmm. what's going to happen in five years, ten years, or do you oh, just take yeah. it day by day? Oh no, no, I'm I'm I, I wish I could take it day by day, but no, I'm. <laughs> I'm very much um uh, 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 very very um ADD uh, all, yeah. all, my, my my head's always in the future. Where do you see yourself like five years from now? Hopefully retired. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, no. I don't know. I mean, like it, it, as long as I get, get to keep doing what I'm doing now, I, I think I'll be very happy. But um, I mean, I, I, I could tell you a, a million. Well, I won't tell you because I, cause I keep them secret. But, um, uh, <laughs> but I, I could tell you like every single project that I that I literally have mapped out oh, for myself for the next five years. But um, uh, but yeah, no, I, 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 I I'm, I'm, I'm a planner. 
I think that's good. like that's incredible. Oh, you'll thanks. be around for 10, 15 more years. Well, God willing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. because you think about things like that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely try. Yeah. Has mm-hmm. there ever been a part of you where you thought about just going home and like giving it all up just to relax? Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> once a week. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Um, yeah, because you know, I, I think you know, like like for example, when when the Twitter got hacked, like, yeah, like, like mm-hmm. that was like that probably upset me a little more than than I than it should because I try so hard to keep myself out of those headlines. Right. Like I'm so. I, I have such a, 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 a influential uh, following of kids, mm-hmm. and I never ever want to to let them down. And so, mm-hmm. like when I get pulled into headlines like that, you know, like like it's a it, violation. It's, yeah, it's a violation. It, it, and it, it's just so unsettling when when you're forced into mm-hmm. that part of of the you know the ugly part of mm-hmm. of, of the biz. Right, right. Yeah. You didn't choose that. Yeah, no, of, no. And mm-hmm. I'm so careful. I carefully choose everything that I do, so I'm not a part of that right. world. And so hard. Really e- hard. Everything you do, you probably have to think about. Yeah, and like you know, of course, like, like I, 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 I'm so fortunate because I've had I've had so many successes. But um, you know, there there's there still a million things that you know that 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 aren't successes that yeah. that, that I that I keep quiet about. But um. But yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think, but I think that's good to have that feeling. I think it's good to, to think to have, you know. You oh, I, I, it's all over. Well, I think that keeps you grounded. Like I have friends that don't, you, you know, like they don't think twice or they don't think that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They go out and they do whatever, and then they <laughs> yeah. wake up the next morning, right. and there's TMZ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I do too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, thankfully, I'm, I'm a worry, a worry, worry ward. A worry ward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where were you when you found out that you were a New York Times bestselling author? I was at Pier 39 <laughs> um, in San Francisco because I was doing signings there. And um, I was so excited because I, I, I my day was made because I was seeing the seals. And I, I love <laughs> animals. And I was like, oh, it doesn't get better than this. And then uh, my, my people pulled me aside and were like, guess what? I'm like, uh, what? Do I get to touch the seals? Uh, um, and, they were like, and they were like, you're a New York Times bestselling uh, author. I was like, what? What, 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 what do you mean? Um, but, but yeah, yeah, and, and the series has just taken off um, from from then. Incredible! Like, do you have siblings? I have a sister. Yes. What does your sister think? She well, she she's constantly unimpressed. My, my she, she's um. <laughs> my sister's the same way. Yeah, she my my, my Hannah's uh, she's uh, five years younger than me, and she she has special needs, so she has no filter whatsoever, <laughs> and she just doesn't care. She just like is, uh, it's the thing that she cares about the most is Justin Bieber. Like like if, if I could supply her with Justin Bieber, then I'd finally impress her. <laughs> but, she probably could at some point, but probably maybe <laughs> could yeah. <laughs> and what do, you, good. what do your parents think? Like your friends from home, they must be they, they're all they're, out. they're always in a constant state of of amazement. I I, I think. Um, and uh, I, I I recently like met Hillary Clinton, uh, and uh, my mom my mom said, well, what did you guys talk about? And she, I said, well, she asked me to be her VP, <laughs> and she just got quiet. And I said, I'm I'm kidding, you know that, right? And she goes, I just don't know anymore, oh, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my friends at Ben and Jerry's they uh, we we tweeted that you're stopping by and they reached out and they go you need to ask about Hillary Clinton oh how funny it, it's, uh. th- everybody knows if Ben and Jerry uh, know yeah Ben and Jerry <laughs> know Ben and Jerry all well, the way to the top they should do like a flavor a Chris and Hillary flavor they actually mentioned that the did they to me they reached out oh my god you know how hard it is well, to get a flavor oh that? I bet um, wow it could be called um well she's tough and I'm sweet so it could be so, I don't know. Well, some, some, so I like. I, I know where you're going. Trying, I know trying, the direction. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you, you should see. Like, if you're ever in the area, mm-hmm. you got to stop by uh, like their headquarters. I we, we go there all the time. We had our own Sunday because we're on up there. Oh, cool. It was they. they the way they make these flavors is oh. the most amazing thing in the oh, world. I bet. Oh my god! It takes like two and a half years, and it's one guy's job to literally sit there and to make ice cream, the most incredible flavors of ice cream, oh, god. and just to try them. I don't know if I should go because I'm such a fat kid at heart. I don't know if I would ever <laughs> leave. Oh, it was so good. I had so much ice cream. Yeah. And then they oh. bring you to the factory and you grab a pint off the line. The factory, yeah, so. because the headquarters is where they invent. Oh. The factory is where they supply oh everything. My God. And you go and you go and you grab a pint that's like all like it's like melted but beautiful. So it's before they go through the deep freeze uh-huh. and it just changes the way you eat ice cream forever. Oh, I bet. I oh, bet. it's incredible. Clinton oh, and Culver geez. getting themselves a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, flavor. yeah, we have I a ship it. name. It's called uh, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be a Colton flavor. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> How was it meeting her? It was great, but it, it was so funny because I just, I, you know, I, I've always wanted to meet her. She's the most powerful woman in the yeah. world, and and um, I also. I had, I had never been to a book signing besides my own, um, really? and I really wanted to experience mm-hmm. you know what what m- my readers experience. Um, so I, I called ahead at, at the because I, I know the staff of, of, of the Grove because uh, I do my signings there, mm-hmm. and I, I said, is there any way you could sneak me in? And they're like, oh yeah, yes, come come and we'll, we'll, we'll put you in the front of the line, and it'll be really really really, really quick. And and little did I know there's going to be a massive amount of press there, right. and they're all taking pictures. And I was like, oh god, serves me right. <laughs> this is a thing. And my family's all conservative, so I got in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, no! My grandma still doesn't know. Oh, um, oh no! 
Yeah, it was, it was rough. How do you break that to grandma? I she I haven't yet. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you know. Uh, has there any no. has like has there been anything in your career that you've been like afraid to kind of like tell your parents or like Besides your grand- Hillary. grandma? Well, Hillary, Hillary, but I think I think if Hillary is the only skeleton in your closet, then <laughs> you're doing something. Yeah, right. you're Sorry. good. Okay. Sorry, I met a, I met the most powerful woman in the world. <laughs> my my wrist. Um, Sorry, fans. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, there have been a couple times when I have like talked about them like in interviews, and my mom, I do not sound like that, Christopher. <laughs> Chris Colfer, man, you're awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out oh, with thank us. Thank you, it was a pleasure. The thank book you. is awesome. The Land of Stories. Uh, you, you got you got to pick it up. It's the third installment, and I'm sure if you haven't, you know, started reading the series, mm-hmm. pick up the other two books while you're there. It's awesome. Yeah. And you, you. sign a copy. We're gonna give them away. Oh, great, Woo! great, great, awesome, awesome. Chris Colfer, you got anything else to plug? Go ahead, do it. Um, um, oh gosh, uh, no, I think I think those are all my plugs. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a guest spot on TV. Oh, land. I am. I'm, I'm hot in Cleveland. Yes. Um, uh, my my episode airs uh, July. Uh, 23rd and that was amazing those, how, those ladies are fantastic really mm-hmm. yeah how Betty is, White oh how is Betty God. White uh, you you don't think you could love her more until you meet with her in person who's better Hillary or Betty Ooh. oh my god well they're both powerful the they're so um, powerful yeah. they're both so powerful oh my god um, imagine the three of you running yeah. I, I think that's a road trip we should take <laughs> that's a movie uh, that's the next road trip yeah, movie I think, I think hey if anyone wants to get, make that happen give me a call yeah. um, <laughs> but Betty she's so funny she, she, she loves dirty jokes <laughs> Did you tell her one? No, I didn't tell. I was just listening. Did, um, did, did she get, yeah. did she say one? Oh yeah, uh, many, many. Like, well, like, uh, and, and then she she's just so pleased with herself yeah. when she says it because she knows no one's expecting it to come <laughs> out of her. But she she was she uh, she was so lovely. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Good time, Chris Colfer. Thank you so much for hanging Thank out. Thank you guys. With us. Thanks.